everybody welcome back to my channel so we're going to be doing a full face today and i'm going to be testing out one of becca's blurring primers so in the last video you guys saw me use the backlight priming filter and that one it definitely does make you radiant definitely not for my skin type without a becca primer that mattifying primer underneath because it's very i mean it does nothing for oily skin okay it does not combat oil no type of way listen my oily skin was like primer what there's no primer here today today i'm going to be using the velvet blurring primer by becca you can find this at sephora also on the beccacosmetics.com website and they just state that this is supposed to blur out any imperfections smooth out that skin get rid of large pores pretty much create the perfect canvas okay before i do that i'm going to go ahead and mist my face with some fix plus just to give it more hydration that sprayed like a i'm going to go in with the primer i'm just going to pump out oh it's like a peach color very runny you can see that so that's just one full pump and I'm actually just going to apply this with my fingers. Probably didn't really need a full pump. I probably could have just did a half a pump. but So I'm just going to massage this. Definitely mostly into my T-zone because that's where I get the most oily. And that's where I have problems with large pores. Especially over my cheekbones here. Ooh, let's blend that in right there okay let's let's not start off with stuff unblended for my foundation you guys already saw that the becca foundations i reviewed in the last video i used tobacco which was too light sienna was too dark and a little bit too red okay so i haven't found my perfect shade yet so i'm going to try a different foundation today i'm just going to be using one of my faithful foundations okay so eyebrows are done so now i'm going to go in with my foundation now just going to pour this on the back of my hand because it does not have a pop i really wanted to use a beauty blender let's see do i have my beauty blender Actually, I did have my beauty blender. So I'm just going to apply this with the brush and then we're going to go back and blend this in with a beauty blender. So foundations, I find out they apply better with beauty blenders and some apply better with brushes. Like this one, it's kind of runny. Um, definitely not full coverage once you apply it. It's to me buildable. It's like medium to full coverage. So, I like to apply this foundation with the sponge just so that I can build it as needed. I mean, you can build it with a brush as well too, but I just feel like I get more coverage when I apply or bounce the beauty blender with the foundation. I'm going to go in and highlight with my, what is this, with my uh, Ruby Kisses Conceal and Correct Conceal and Contour. But this is a concealer in the shade Warm Honey. I'm sort of like testing this out to see if I like it better than the LA Girl Pro Concealers. So we're just testing this out. And I like to take this all the way down to the right below my nose, the corner of my nose. So I'm just blending this with the same side that I blended the foundation out with so that it's not as bright. But underneath the eyes, I definitely want it to be brighter than my forehead and my chin. So I'm going to switch over to the sides of the Beauty Blender and just bounce underneath the eyes with that side. I'm using the Pure Cameo Stick and I'm going to use the dark side, of course. This isn't as dark as my Black Opal Foundation Stick. But it is, it has more red, so I pretty much just like to use this as a contour and also as like a bronzer. It's an easy way to bronze and get some of that chocolateness back. I'm using a brush from Real Techniques just to blend out that contour. And then I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Rich Mahogany. Just to set the contour. So this time I'm actually just setting the contour before I actually put my setting powder on 
The setting powder, I'm just going to brush over the highlight and also the contour just to merge everything together. So I just like to try different techniques just to see what I get back. Um, and you know, sometimes I get bored. I just like to switch it up. Make me feel like I'm doing something. So I'm just going to see how this looks back in pictures. I'm going to set my under eye concealer before it starts creasing. And I'm just using my Sasha Buttercup Translucent Setting Powder. And then again, I'm not baking, so I'm just brushing this underneath the eyes. You can be kind of generous with it. So I'm just tap, 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 tap in the concealer, just tapping it. Everywhere that I put that concealer. And then right here is where I normally get creasing. I'm going to make sure I apply it heavier right here in my smile lines. This is where I normally get creasing, like right up in this area here. So I'm going to make sure I be kind of generous with the powder right there. Right there. I'm going to go in with our NYX Ultimate Powder. I'm going to take that color and apply it right in the crease. Just using windshield wiper motions. Going to the darker brown right underneath it. We're going to go right below the crease color, doing the same windshield wiper motions, not covering the crease color. Now I'm going to go in with the same concealer that we highlighted with and I'm going to apply this down to my lid and kind of cut the crease with it. So I'm going to go in with the same palette and I'm using this butter color here, which is probably just a little bit lighter than the concealer. Just using a large eyeshadow brush and we're just going to apply this right over the concealer. I'm going to go in with my Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. This is in the Black Matte, of course. One of my favorite liquid eyeliners. Don't smudge, don't budge, and it's jet black. And we are doing a wing eyeliner today, so we're going to take this right on up to where our cut crease begins. Let's make it a little bit thicker. turn clear I'm gonna be a little creative I've seen a lot of people do this on YouTube and I thought it was real cute just add a little glitter in the little cut crease so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use the Stila this is the Stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows so I'm just gonna use this and I'm gonna use actually use a brush to apply it because I, I want to kind of try to be precise with it and I'm just going to go over the line of the cut crease. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It's 
pretty, pretty, it's pretty. So I'm gonna be using the Maybelline highlighter. I'm using my sponge here, dabbing that in there. I'm also gonna apply a little bit to my brow bone here. Ooh, just apply a little bit right on under that brow bone. For my blush, I'm going to use the Becca Luminous blush, and this is in Snapdragon. Fix Plus. So for our lips, we're going to line my lips with the lip pencil from my collection. This is called Inspiration, and it's going to be available soon for you guys to purchase to wear with all of your lipsticks from the Stacey Collection, because I know you guys support it. I know you went and purchased one of my lipsticks, especially during the month of February. Hello, Black Owned Small Business. Pink Pop also from the Stacey Collection. She's cute, right? Yeah. Hmm? Put that to the back. What you think, guys? She's cute, right? It turned out pretty good. 